Hello YouTubers, Sandy here, welcome back to Resident Evil 4. I decided to record one more episode, making it like four episodes in a single recording. Usually I've been doing three, but I don't know, I just wanted to keep playing, so I can just continue on without recording. <laughs> so we're now going for the other grail. Wait. Leave Ashley here. She can't get taken, but she will be a huge hindrance. Because as you can see... Oh. I don't think that's supposed to be wiggling like that. That's actually kind of interesting. So we got more of these uh, statues. I can't remember the name of them. Like it's, I think it's like Armados or something like that, maybe? But the point is that now we're in this room. And we're going to get locked in this room. And we're going to have to fight Armados in this room. And it's just a huge pain in the butt. So. Speedrun strats was... Sniping them in the head and then blowing them up. With a flash grenade. Well, there's two waves. I must not have been paying attention to that speedrun portion, so I'm just going to fight it like a coward like I usually do. So you got three of them. You kind of want to like lure them into a circle. Interesting. So as you can see, you have Plaga. Oh no, that's going to hurt. Yep, now it's gonna hurt. And then the flag is gonna kill me. Damn! Yeah, this is why I don't like this area. Just because. Wait. Just because I don't know why I just I fuck up and have difficulties against these suits of armor. But that's okay. Let's try again. Maybe sniper rifle is the way to go now that I think about it. I might try that. Let's give it a shot. I might die a couple times on this just because I'm not good at it. Oh god, dead. So dead, so dead, so dead. That was bad. I just like completely missed. Alright. Try again. Alright, here we go. So now I could. I'm gonna try incendiary grenades. I never use incendiary grenades against these things. It didn't work. Why am I not surprised? There's suits of armor, which is a clog in them. Okay. Man, they're fucking fast. It's just really difficult because, like, to slow them down, you have to get them to attack you, but that brings you in range of the plagas. Nope. Uh, not good. I am so dead! Uh, they comboed me. I was gonna heal. Grrr. Wait! Alright, so the incendiary grenade didn't work. And like I said, there's two waves and I can't even get to the second one. Ugh. Just grab this. If I can do the sniper better. Okay. Perfect. Okay, so now. Not 
not good. Whoo, that was almost a decapitation right there. Nope, I missed. There's one. Whew. All right. Yeah, unfortunately, I wish I had another flash grenade. That would have made things a lot easier. Look at all that money you get from them. 6,500 each. Unfortunately, I used a lot of sniper ammo, and I kind of need my sniper rifle for the next section. But maybe I'll just use a pistol. And I got a lot of shotgun shells, so that'll help. Guess I'll use that. Alright. So that wasn't too bad. We just died twice. <laughs> no big deal. But we're not done yet. Wait. Leave Ashley here. We're gonna do the next section. Hmm. I do have this insane. I'm using a lot, like a lot more grenades than I usually do. I just died. That didn't work. Shotguns are helpful. Ah, I was hoping that I'd get them both in the shotgun blast, but that didn't work out as planned. All right, you throw. Thank you. I'll switch to suplex. Cool. Another one busted us. Oh, all right. So that wasn't too horrendously terrible. Gonna reload. Definitely gonna need to reload the shotgun. Switch back to the pistol for temporary measures. Follow me. So then let's call Ashley. Toast to the royal majesty. Um, that's the queen. Yeah, that's the queen's grill. And toast to the king. Open the door. Wait for Ashley. Slow poke. Thank you. Moving on. Wait. Smash those two. Hey, incendiary grenade. Cool. And oh, cool. Got a one slash again. Use that chicken egg. Belt blue. Follow me. Gonna bring Ashley. Grab some money. Grab some something in here. Well, more money. That works. Don't open that door yet. Don't do it. Because there's a little thing that you can do. It's kind of funny. Jump across here. Grab that. And head up here. Wait! Leave Ashley there. You might be able to hear some sort of weird noise to our left. Another butterfly lamp. Whatever could that mean? We didn't even finish our first one. Might we perhaps be fighting more Navistadors? Or whatever the hell that thing is. I got a lot of handgun bullets. Save on the sniper shells. Especially because I used them against the suits of armor then and I don't normally do that. There we go. So if you look, all those treasures. A bunch of eyes, obviously, for the butterfly lamp. And I'm pretty sure it guarantees at least one. But I don't know about any others. Like, or one blue eye, I should say. So here's a little uh, funny thing. The only point, oh. Follow me. <laughs> ah, that's funny. Maybe? Oh, okay, no. Yeah. Basically, that's the only part where you can catch a set of her panties without it being, like, accidental or her covering herself and calling you a pervert, etc., etc. 
But that's the wrong gun. I need this gun. So we head over here. And Ashley got captured. By another set of doors. So let's funnel. Where did you come from? You followed me through the door. Okay. So the point about no vista doors is, is that if they're in the air, any hit will kill them instantly. So one hit to an aerial no vista door is death. Okay, that was accidental. I believe that was all of them. Got a green eye. Uh oh. Come on. Oh no. Well, we still got all these. Maybe we'll get lucky and get two blues. Uh oh. Not looking like it. There's the first blue. Wow, not getting good eye luck. Um, Alright. But luckily, there is still one more spot that has... Novice doors in it. And hopefully we'll be able to get another blue one from that. So we'll hold off on selling the incomplete one still. So I don't understand this. Drawbridge is supposed to lower, but those are holding it up. So, like, seriously, what kind of poorly designed drawbridge doesn't have chains long enough to hold it in place? Or to, like, to prevent it from going all the way down. I just, it, the logic is bad, and it should feel bad. Oh yeah, so we lost Ashley again. Oh darn, we won't be getting her for a very long time, so that's good. Stuck on that pillar. What the hell? Drop some. Oh, actually, we're gonna continue on before we talk to the merchant real quick, cause there's a little treasure over here we can grab. It's not just that one though. It's uh, this one. Yeah. There we go. Got a spindle in the torch. I don't think we've missed any of those. Welcome. Those are just the ones that I know and have memorized from the guide. What are you selling? So let's sell. What are we selling? We are selling. Is that all? Is that all? Is that all? Is all that those. all? Is that all? Man, that one. look at that. I'll buy it. Just by adding the blue price. one, you increase the price by twenty-one thousand. It's insane. Thank you. Or no, 10,000, or 11,000, wow, or no, 21,000? Was it 32 or 22? I think it was 32,000. Anyways, <laughs> I didn't forget, shut up. What are you buying? <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, there's upgrades to everything. <laughs> Thank you. Come on. Not everything, but a lot of stuff. So let's green herb it up again. All right. So let me check the time because oh wow we're only halfway through the episode. Grr. What are you buying? I am buying this. This is one of the very few times I actually purchase a rocket launcher. But trust me on this, it is very useful. And worth it. Because you make profit from it, pretty much. But we're going to save here and continue on. Because we're about to do the sequence that leads up, basically, is my third least favorite section in the castle. Yeah, I don't like the castle a lot. <laughs> There's a lot of areas I hate about the castle. So, yeah, I actually got stolen. Don't care. Inside that building is the part that I hate. And inside that building is the part that I also hate. 
but with the rocket launcher it makes it a hell of a lot easier. So one thing we have to worry about is that over there is some mortar launchers. Oh, they hadn't shown up yet. So we could snipe them, but honestly I don't just because it's a waste of ammo and you can pretty much avoid what they're tossing. There we go. Oh, this is gonna hurt. Cool. Made it. So now there's some areas or enemies. <laughs> there's some areas. There's some enemies up here that we'll have to fight. We'll just make them trip down the stairs and call it good. I'm going to die? Is that what you just said? You missed, sir. Want to try that again? Pick it up and try it again? No? Okay. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Pretty easy. Rinse, wash, repeat. Thanks for the money. Okay, so there's still another... Pretty sure... Yeah, there's that guy. Hi, dude. I'm kind of worried about that scythe thrower. Alright, there we are. Are you laughing, sir? Don't laugh. That's what you get for laughing at me. Get murdered. Brutally, brutally murdered. Oh yeah, that was that. Not too bad. Right. Yeah, don't want to go this way. Oh yeah, the reload on the uh, black tail is like... Holy crap, good. That's not what I was looking for. Shit, I'm gonna get hit. Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. It was right here. Alright. Let's loop around again. <laughs> Those are very, very close dodges. So one more cycle, then we can enter that door. Cool. And there we are. That wasn't the hard part. Well, that was kind of the hard part. No, it wasn't. Honestly, that wasn't the hard part at all. The hard part's in here. Where am I going? Where do I go from here? Something, something song about things. Alright, there's one. There's two. And the third one's at the top. Basically, we need to activate this tower to uh, turn the bridge that we walked to get to the tower, and it allows us to go to the other route. And the whole point of this is it's basically distracting us from being able to catch Ashley so some sort of ritual can be performed. But I'm taking a little bit of a side route first. Grab the treasures. We will be coming back down here, but there will be enemies. So I just want to grab everything first. Now we head to the top. And one of the reasons why this is my least favorite uh, section is just because... Uh, when we uh, when we head back down, there's going to be enemies like both snipers and dynamite throwers, and it's just the snipers in the close quarters. No, well, I shouldn't say snipers, but like the crossbowmen. Oh, there's a box over there I missed. The crossbowmen in close quarters just it's difficult for me because they'll surprise me. I'll like jump down thinking there's no one there, and then there'll be. A, a sniper that'll shoot at me and I'll be like, where the hell did you come from? And then I'll be like, god damn it, motherfucker. Somewhere sniper ammo. Do I go up this way? Yeah, there it is. It's a neat looking uh, tower though. So that's basically a note talking about like, oh yeah, we're distracting him. And there's the third block. 
So activate this, the tower is activated, and now enemies enter. You know what? I'm gonna snipe that guy. I feel like sniping that guy. Where'd he go? He moved. Goddamn. Can I snipe you, sir? I can. Oh, cool. Can I snipe you, sir? Oh, no way! That was a nice snipe! Cool. They've never been so noisy for me before, so I couldn't... I had a lot harder time locating them. So that was nice of them. It's a pity that they didn't drop anything, though. Like, none of the three did. That's alright. So the point of this is that we actually have to go one step further down. The way I do this is... Yeah. I'm right back up here. <laughs> so the dynamite thrower is kind of killing his buddies. You're still not dead, sir. Where? Alright. Hey, Mr. Uh, dynamite Thrower. Can you toss your dynamite? You get down there. Wow, none of these guys are being nice and dropping anything for me. Oh god! Woo! Hello. Was not expecting that. <laughs> I believe there is still one more dynamite thrower down there. So we'll have to be careful. Yeah. Oh, there's one more sniper, that's what it is. Whew. Suplex? Yeah! Suplex! Alright. Whew! So that was the watchtower. But we're still not done with it. So this is the next section I absolutely despise. And the question is, how do I deal with it? I believe that this is the answer. Okay. So now the problem is, I mentioned before that I hate when I get uh, people in front and behind me. This is one of those times. And this is what I'll do. The worst part, you grab from behind, but he's gonna have a plaga. Oh no, he didn't. Okay. I hate when that happens. He still has a rocket launcher. Kind of glossed over that point. Don't have a flog up, please. God damn. Oh. Look at all these guys dying. 
Oh, that's not good. Oh. Whoops. There was a plug and he was shooting a rocket launcher at me. I panicked. However, I can now do this. There. Problem solved. <sighs> Alright, so we're going to grab that thing first. So that's a kind of a shame that the rest of the stuff despawned, but I panicked. I didn't want to deal with that rocket launcher because I was pretty sure it was going to kill me. So we're going to want the rocket launcher. And I'm going to save again. Just because I don't like this next section, next section, next section, next section. Alrighty, what time are we doing? Okay, we got four minutes, so we should be able to do this. This episode might be a little longer. Okay. So first things first. Shoot. Okay, I'm gonna get grabbed. But... Both of the Garadors died. And I learned the section, second part of that from the uh, speedrun, honestly. Like, I knew the rocket launcher would kill the one on the left. Because the one on the left was, um, weaker. It was original Garador. The one on the right, however, had armor and as such was stronger. So it could survive the rocket launcher. However, it only had one more hit before it died. Oh, hello. Oh, hey! Oh, yeah, I forgot. That guy drops a uh, first aid spray. Shotgun shells. <laughs> they all fall down. Nice. So that went really smoothly. Like, that's probably the smoothest uh, double Garador fight I've ever had. Because, of course, otherwise you have to deal with the blind Garadors and all the ganados that appear and unfortunately <laughs> the uh... Garadors don't attack the ganados so it's just a huge pain and I absolutely hate this fight and that's why I'm so glad I'm like I've always used the rocket launcher but I've never killed both of them like that quickly because I didn't know about the whole uh... just one more sniper bullet to the thing while it's stunned because if you aim it right, they're both stunned, or the one on the right is stunned in a way that you can snipe it. So, cutscene with an action sequence. And apparently Leon has a grappling hook for whatever reason. We get a crown. Yay, crown. And we're gathering some treasures. And some bats everywhere. Our velvet blue. Oh, I kind of forgot. We're about to grab another rocket launcher after. <laughs> so I'm gonna... Oh. I'll reorganize this thing. Uh, don't reload the shotgun, by the way. Because we're going to be trading the shotgun. Rare. What are you selling? So, sell the magnum bullets because I don't care. Thank you. Is that sell that incendiary <laughs> grenade. Thank you. We're going to be selling... Is that those. Is that open? Is that open? Don't sell the crown. The crown is Thank another you. combinable treasure. So we don't want to sell that, but we want to sell the riot ah, gun. We're actually getting rid of that because we're getting a new shotgun. What are you buying? The best shotgun. And that is, is that the striker. Which as you can see is much smaller. And it just does a lot better. So let's start reorganizing our inventory. Look at all those health upgrade things we have. Perfect. That's not right. There we are. That's right now. <laughs> what We're going to do the tune-up. <laughs> there we go. Come back, so now, of course, we don't have any uh, sort of weapons. So we run a little bit faster because of that. 
but when we talk about running faster, that's what a striker is for. Because there's a glitch, and I'm pretty sure it's still in this version. Yeah, it is, actually, because the speedrun I watched was the PC version. So the glitch is called the Ditman glitch, because he was the one that basically discovered it. And all you have to do is press the button that you use to aim your gun, and immediately afterwards, pause, and switch to a different gun. And now you run super fast. Like, holy shit fast. You also knife very fast. As I'm killing these ba oh my gosh. So it actually increases your speed of knifing. Is that just a triple nut bat kill? How many bats are there? I'm killing them, oh my gosh. I think there's infinite bats, but I'm like killing a bunch of them. That's kind of funny. Anyways. So, and I guess I'll shoot a bullet to emphasize as well. If you look very carefully, there's also visual glitches in terms of reloading, because the animation for it all is faster. I think it's like 1.5 uh, times faster. That's making me dizzy. But yeah, so like with the black tails specifically, you'll like kind of flip the clip in the air before you like. I don't know, it just, it flips in the air, it's a very weird animation. Oh my god, bats, you're annoying. So yeah, we're gonna be using that a lot, and it's gonna, um... It disappears if you get hurt, uh, go through a door, have a cutscene happen, or, um... Switch back to the striker and aim, I think? Okay, so we still have it, but... Yeah, okay, so as soon as we aim the striker, we switch back to normal speed. But, yeah, trust me, I just, I love the striker. It's my favorite shotgun because, not just because of that glitch, but because of just, it's a very good one, and when we fully upgrade it, it becomes very handy. But that is going to do it for today. Uh, yeah, we're a couple minutes over, sorry about that, but just wanted to get through that tough part. Oh, actually, before I forget, I'm going to save again after I do this. I need another, uh... I'm going to buy another rocket launcher. Because of what we're about to deal with. It's another situation where it just it makes things so much easier. So, and, and, of course, I've got plenty of money for it because I'm just... Yeah. So, a lot of extra saves that were unnecessary this, uh episode but that's okay ew anyways i hope you enjoyed uh next episode we'll be doing another kind of boss-ish fight and doing some more fun areas oh we're almost done with the castle i think we've only got okay i can't count them in my head but anyways i uh, hope you guys enjoyed and i guess i will see you next time